Hi guys and welcome back to another Foot Champions Journey, the series where we're doing alright this time man. The first 20 games have been alright, three games uh, losses, um, two of them I wouldn't say deserved but just uh, my fault not being able to put the ball into the back of the net and uh, the third one I was slapped on the counter-attack. If you guys want to watch it, it was in the previous episode. So what we're doing today, guys, is we're going to aim to go for a clean sweep. We could potentially do it. Um, coming to playing on the Saturday morning, well, so just about to turn Saturday um, dinner time. And uh, this is a team we are using. Now, already, Suarez has started to fall off a little bit with the goals that he's been getting. But it's been um, pushed through to Ronaldo, who seems to be the guy who's scoring all the goals for me. Uh, 179 games, 158 goals, 81 assists. That's a pretty good record with him, for me, anyway. And uh, Suarez, you can see, 160 games, 117 goals, 71 assists. So it's shared between them two uh, for the goals and assists. And then we've got Lionel Messi as well, guys. 127 games, 57 goals, eight, uh, 58 assists. So still a pretty uh, good return for someone who does play in the cam position. So if you guys do want MSP, PSN codes or cheap game codes guys, go and check out G2A.com, their link is down below. If we're trying to hit over 3,000 likes, that'd be brilliant. And guys, subscribe to me if you're not subscribed already. Yet again, 34 wins, um, less than 34 wins guys, and I'm giving away an Xbox to a PlayStation. So make sure you do hammer that like rating on the video, and uh, hopefully, I'm hoping guys, that we don't lose, because I don't really want to be giving away somewhere as expensive as that. But fingers crossed we can do alright this week, and it's going to run all the way throughout Foot Champions guys. Wherever ever hit less than 34, it's given away. Let's hope it doesn't happen though. So let's get into game number 21 to 30 and hopefully get a clean sweep. So guys, game number one up against Blitzkrieg Joel. He does have two legends uh, in Nedved and Lundberg, who I don't think have ever come up against in the weekend league. Also the 88 Mertens, Benteke, who I never realised at the start of the uh, uh, matchup screen that he had Benteke in the centre mid and he actually didn't move him either, uh, which was very interesting. Now the first goal, come quite early on. Nice uh, ball roll by Suarez. Did well not to get knocked over and... Um, actually not the defender over and was allowing him to run into free space and uh, get the finish but over the top through balls I don't even talked about them yesterday guys but all the top through balls are back and uh, Freddie Lundberg there gets a shot off terrible save by Neuer which um, obviously in, is into Lundberg's path where he's able to make it 1-1 um, in this game in the 16th minute so basically an instant equaliser um, not long after I had scored the next one come, next clip is Messi actually um, I always like Messi's free kicks in draft but I haven't been able to nail them down um, in foot champions but we do get one right into the top corner there guys to send us back into the lead in the 27th minute and it really, really nice free kick and uh, a great finish by Messi. They're, that's where a majority of his goals are coming from this weekend league. Into the 63rd minute, guys, in the last clip of the game. Suarez linking up with Messi. Messi back to Suarez. Suarez getting tackled and pushed out by Reed, but is uh, obviously sees the overlapping runner Hullet who gets the ball through to Suarez. Suarez to Ronaldo. Simple goal, guys. 3 1 and uh, did pick up a nice victory. So, so far we are looking 18 and 3, um, which is not the best. It's not the not the worst either, uh, but definitely something where we're showing a little bit of progression uh, compared to recent weeks. So you can see um, it's a very even game. These stats are completely different to the way you see in last week, and maybe that's where I'm uh, picking up the losses, especially in the last episode. This game, the black guy. Obviously shows that he's finished silver one month as well, guys. So he's got um, that informed white gale red uh, as a striker next to Walcott and uh, Sterling. And uh, it was a very annoying game. But in the first 10 minutes, guys, open space to Messi. who's not going to miss from there. And a brilliant finish um, to make it 1-0. Messi making really, really good overlapping runs uh, for me within this uh, within this run of, of games. It's a shame that next week, guys, we're not actually being able to use uh, this team. We're going to be changing teams for the first time, I think, since the start of Foot Champions, where it's actually going to be 16 BPL players in my team. Even though a lot of people do rock with BPL players already, um, I think I've got my team nailed down. If you guys follow me on Twitter, you might have seen it already, um, but I will be including Vieira because this weekend, Vieira has definitely been the MVP um, of the uh, of, of of this one and the first uh, 20 22 games uh, this game was a tough one though 2-2 guys he was scoring goals with Dwight Gale getting in ridiculous positions but a nice scoop turn by Suarez opens up the triple tap and Ronaldo's there in space to make it 3-2 uh, in the 57th minute of the game we're able to hang on guys and pick up that 3-2 victory in a game we dominated but just couldn't um, get the ball into the back of the net I don't know what it was it was a sign of I don't know it was a sign of tiredness or something um, but I just wasn't playing the same way as I usually do North Ham Saint what up with Inform Vardy, Mares, the team in the group stage, Martial, Eriksen, Toure, and uh, Deli Ali, and also a decent BPL defence. Vieira with the ball here, carrying it forward outside the wing, able to cut on the inside, get the ball. Um, 
through to Hullet and some nice pass and play, making the runs in the midfield, waiting for the overlaps. And you can see Messi, uh, you see the run of Ronaldo here, but Ronaldo's at the back post. Messi inside, guys, whips it into the back post. Um, but Schmeichel palms it straight into the path of Suarez. I would be really annoyed to concede, concede a goal like that. I'd be furious. Uh, so I feel for my opponent in that goal he's just conceded. But unless you're going to try stupid stuff, guys, you're not going to get uh, really lucky goals. And thankfully, we have got a lot of luck this weekend so far. Messi with the ball here, working space, gets it through to Vieira. Vieira through to Suarez and uh, a low driven shot there past the keeper it makes it 2-0 in the 43rd minute took the game out of my opponent's reach and uh, put us in a comfortable uh, position going into the second half 72nd minute though Vardy linking up with Leighton Baines who I don't really like I, actually I, I don't mind playing against him but that was a really good over the top through ball guys to Deli Alley who uh, gets it past the keeper to make it seven in uh, make it two one in the seventy third minute of the game really nice finish but eighty first minute guys space is opening up left right and centre you can see Ronaldo with the ball there waiting for the one and Pogba it never come um, so just dribbles it into the area himself nice bit of skill inside outside turns it back triple tap there we are. Suarez, simple goal, um, very similar goals actually. When we're able to get these goals, we're able to get wins, and that's all I want. So this game finished three-one, six shots, six on target to his two and two, um, and uh, eighty-one percent pass accuracy, which is pretty low. Uh, if you guys do watch all my videos on the channel, so. Moving on into the next, guys. Uh, unbeaten in three games. Take us to 20 and 3. Um, up against MXGGA with Martial up front. Uh, also, uh, Eden Hazard, player of the month, uh, Sterling, player of the month, Stun. Uh, no, player of the month, Ali. I'm going to get confused with them two because uh, the player pictures are pretty similar. Um, you can see Suarez with the ball here. Breaks on through. Uh, it was a terrible pass from his defence, actually, and allowed me to run straight on through and uh, get the ball in. So a nice finish by Suarez to put us 1-0 up in the 15th minute of the game. Um, and then, free kick, guys. Pogba. Long-range ones don't usually take them with Messi. Long-range ones take them with Hullet or Pogba, and Pogba scored an absolute rocket there to make it 2-0 in the 19th minute. This guy was dominating the possession up until this point as well, um, but two lucky chances from myself uh, took advantage. You can see Mateus with the ball there, 74th minute. We'd already made substitutions, guys. Ronaldo, in free space, is able to get inside, close to six yard, and just powers it through, guys. 3-0, and... Uh, Game over, a nice three 0 victory uh, at that point, and my opponent did um, did play the rest of the game. You can see there, guys, even one, even game, decent pass accuracy. I don't know what's happening. My pass accuracy is like up and down all the way throughout the games, even though I win them. Very, very strange. Bog Brush X, he has got the red Touré, really, really lucky uh, monthly pull. Also the 87 Lukaku, Inform, Walcott, Hazard, De Bruyne, Kante, Koscielny, Smalling, Klein, Walker, and also Butland. Nice looking BPL team. That midfield, uh, I really hate playing against it. We whip the ball in. Bit of a failed uh, attempt at getting the ball in, but some bad... Um Counter-attacking style play from him, rushing the ball. Let's Ronaldo in, guys, who gets the uh, low-driven far post shot off uh, to make it 1-0 in the fifth minute. So we're already causing the panic within his area very early on in the game. Vieira starting the attack again, linking up with Messi, Messi to Ronaldo, Ronaldo back to Vieira, and you see the runs that the players are making, guys, over the top through ball, through to Messi, who picks it up and gets the goal. Um, I thought I may as well try it. They seem to be working for my opponents, so why shouldn't they work for me? Really, really nice finish, and uh, a brilliant touch by Lionel Messi. Um, to put him in position over two defenders as well. So 2-0 up, and then some rough defending by me. Um, I was allowing him in left, right, and centre. It was a frustrating game. I tried to get the uh, uh, the lead back. Well, not the lead back, but just control of the game back, and thankfully, pull it inside the area. Low driven shot off the post, guys. Bounces straight back to Ronaldo, and uh, goes the post that Butlum was actually diving, but uh, for some reason, he uh, had already committed to one side. Suarez to Ronaldo. Ronaldo inside. Nice bit of skill. Gets the goal. 4-0 in at the 76th minute and uh, that was a GG right there because straight from that guys my opponent did press start after the celebrations and uh, did disappear so the graft of glory unfortunately picking up a 4-0 loss um, but another win. We're looking bloody good. We are looking bloody good. So rage quit and uh, on into the next game. Ryan Martin UK inform Gray hate playing against him. I just hate playing against BPL players. Lukaku and Gray. That partnership is ridiculous. Also, Ericsson, Nangolan, Alexandro, Chiellini, um, who I don't think is on full chem, actually. No, he isn't. Nibas, oh yeah, Dembele is. Uh, Kante, Smalling and Walker. Uh, very, very nice team. Messi picks the ball up in the second minute. 1-0. Early goals um, completely change the game for me. We can't get an early goal. More than likely, I'm going to struggle come the later stage of the game, as you guys will have seen in the last episode. And uh, we still have... 
quite a few games to go until we finish this one. But a banger there from Suarez in the six minute guys makes it 2 0. We were scoring goals really, really fast, and I was expecting my opponent to disappear. Uh, but he did stay around, and fair play to him, he was a very, very good opponent because. He was using Nangolan like not many people use him, which is actually as an attacking player. A lot of people use Nangolan as a player just to go around and clean up the midfield, which he's really, really good at, um, but he's also very good at attacking. And, and a player I've not really got near either. Who knows? We might see me use a Serie A team. Uh, when EA decide to do requirements for the Serie A. Pull it with the ball there, inside to Messi. Messi, and these are the repeated type of goals, guys. Pass back, Ronaldo, first time shot, 3-1 in the 62nd minute. Very, very nice goal, um, but a standard goal. And if you guys want to take anything away from this video, have a look at the inside pass goals that I do and try and take it into your game because you'll get a lot more goals that way. They're very simple. It's all about like trying to juke your opponent and once you do that, guys, and get used to it, you'll score a hell of a lot more goals. Messi, free run, pointless ball roll, good finesse shot, 4-1, game over. And uh, we're able to, uh, well, not worry about this game being 4-1 up. But we wanted to get more goals, guys, um, but my opponent decided to press the start button in the 83rd minute and Ryan Martin disappears as well. So, a nice finish. So, the next game is going to be the talking point of today, guys. Um... I want to put something into some context. So this guy, Little Ride 360, very, very nice team. Man of match, Walcott, Vardy, Martial, uh, the Red Deli Alley, Kate, Kante, Rooney, Rose, Smalling, Bailly and Bellerin. Now you are noticing, guys, it is the 36th minute. You see the way he's playing, which is literally just passing around. This is all my opponent did, guys. He didn't attack. He literally passed around the back. Not just for the not just for this duration of time, but actually for the whole of the game. I could not believe what I was seeing. Now I've heard Nep complain a few times about oh this guy was passing around the back, just doing pointless shit, and I was like, Well, I've never seen anyone do that, but this is the first time I've actually seen it. Where literally this was all he was doing, looking to potentially go to penalties with me, and I was really, really fucking pissed off. Now you guys know in the last week's uh, episodes, I was talking about time wasting and stuff like that. Um, but time wasting to a point where you're still going to go for goals, still go up the field. But he literally was going back all the time. I don't know what the game plan was of this guy. It was frustrating the fuck out of me, which is probably why he was doing it. But if you're frustrating the fuck out of me, go and attack. Because more likely you're going to get a counter-attacking goal from me. Um, that wasn't the case. He literally didn't want to leave his area. Uh, I think at the end of the first half, guys, he did have a bow... Um, 80% possession over me, um, but it gives away the ball in the 88th minute, guys. Messi, I need to be very patient with the ball when I do have it because I lose it, then I've lost the, uh, lost the ball for about 10 in game minutes. Messi links up with Suarez, Suarez through to Pogba. Pogba gets a shot off in the 90th minute. The frustration was over. I let my opponent know how frustrated it was, guys. Running around shushing and uh, doing the dab at the end. A very frustrating game, but thankfully we do pick up the three points. If it had gone to extra time and penalties, more than likely I would have lost. You can see there, guys, he had 73% possession to his zero shots, zero on target, and our 27. It was a lot worse in the first half, let me tell you that one. So, that game's over and done. So annoyed, or so annoyed. So that game's over and done. Let's go and see how we're doing the rest of them. So we've got Giovinco, SBC, SBC, or... Player of the Year, David Villa, who I don't think we rarely come up against. Uh, player of the Month, um, Costa. Also, Nosserino, who's a silver, I didn't realise. Perlo, and who's the other ones? Kante, Chiellini, Alexandro, uh, Smalling, Walker, um, and another good bunch of players. This opponent was tidy as well. Um, tidy in attack, which was frustrating. Costa is a very, very difficult player to get the ball off. I didn't realise that until we actually started playing this game. 34th minute, guys. We break on through with Messi. Went for a random uh, low-driven shot. Nettled in the side netting and uh, put us 1-0 up. Didn't expect it to go in, but I thought I'd go for it anyway. But in the 55th minute, guys, a nice one-twos here. Perisic coming on as a sub, linking through the ball, um, linking the ball through, sorry, to uh, Costa, who was able to get the ball underneath the keeper and make it 1-1 in the 51st minute. Um, frustrating game. It was going to get even worse as well, guys, because my opponent, when he was going up front, looked like he was going to be doing the damage. But thankfully, Messi sees the ball to Ronaldo. Ronaldo to Messi. Messi continues the run, sees the run of Suarez. Suarez, from a similar position to the first goal, actually, gets a post and in to make it 2-1 in the 64th minute. Looking like we're back in the lead, back in control. No. He starts an attack. Giovinco, Lincoln, Acosta. Giovinco through to Perisic. And for some reason, I committed to a tackle, which I've not done all weekend, and give away our first penalty of this weekend, guys, which uh, Costa conf uh, confidently uh, puts it into the back of the net. 2-2. Yeah. 
extra time. Extra time, 90, 99th minute slash 100th minute. We start the attack. Mateus on the pitch. Best is on the pitch. And I think Bale's on the pitch as well. Alaba inside through to Bale. Bale squares it over to an empty net where Ronaldo can just put it in, guys, and uh, make it 3-2. Thankfully, that was how the game did stay against my opponent and uh, another victory. So I think we've got two more games. Um... Left of today, guys, we're on an eight-game win streak for this episode. And uh, if we win our final two, guys, we will be 27-3. and three. So, next game, George Saints 95, Inform Lukaku Gamero SBC, which I don't think I've ever seen uh, in this uh, in, in Foot Champions at all. The Red and Zonzi for this month as well. Kante, Dembele, Martial, uh, Clichy, uh, Zuma, Varane. Nice-looking defence and frustrating team to play against. And the main player who is frustrating, guys, is Lukaku. I just hate playing against Lukaku. I don't know how he plays. Um, I do know how he plays, but I just don't know how to defend against him. Very annoying. And I presume a lot of people next week will be coming against Lukaku quite a lot. Suarez with the ball here holds it up, going 1 0 down to a very dodgy lucky goal. Um, but I've had plenty of lucky goals, so no complaints. Back heel from Ronaldo, straight through to Pogba. First time shot, 1 1 in the 54th minute of the game. Nice to get the inst well, basically instant reply anyway, after my opponent had scored. And then we're able to play the way we do. A nice tackle by Clichy there. As full-on speedy attacking, which is something I've need to slow the fuck down and uh, take like slow, slow play like this, guys. Nice pass and play. You see Messi with the ball there, waiting for the hold up. Suarez gets it about low driven shot, two one. That was how the game did finish. A nice uh, two one victory, taking us to nine wins in this episode. In a very close game, it could have gone either way, but thankfully the goals which I got, they were nice. They were doing nice goals, but. I'm just trying to learn how to shut down my uh, opponent's attack because you guys have known since the start I've been trying to change my, the way I play and uh, change the way I defend. But as soon as I sort out defending, guys, the better it will be all around and the more wins I'll pick up over the month. So you see this one, guys. Martial, Inform Grey, Man of the Match, Walcott, Dembele, Fernandinho, Kante. Nice looking attacking team, and he was very attacking with it as well. Starting from the pack, Pogba to Vieira. Vieira waiting for the runner, Messi. Messi sees the ball to Suarez. I don't know how he got so much space with a matter of three passes. Smashed it in. Too much power, Butland into his own net, guys. 1-0 in the 27th minute. And uh, that was how it continued, getting chances, but just couldn't get them in all the time. 90th minute, though, we do um, luckily defend him very well. Start the attack from the keeper, Messi again. It's another goal, guys. 2-0, and that's how we're going to finish on today's episode. A nice 10 wins, 0 losses. And there we are, guys. Foot Champions is over uh, for this episode, guys. Nice 2 0 victory against Pacey Dorwood. Um, give me a difficult game, actually. I had to think in the back of my head, guys, that he had the team to go on and make the. Uh Make the chances. And you guys can see, um, you won't see the chances in the thing, but you can see me backing off here. Allowing him some decent open space. There was a few chances where we got really close. This one uh, could have easily gone in. There was a chance before that as well, but then we were able to continue. And push forward, guys. This chance was really good as well. It's lucky I nudged him in time uh, for uh, Neuer to make the save. Um, Messi with a miss here. I think it was just over from the free kick. And then we do have the goal as well, guys, which was just him all out attack. And uh, we're able to break on through with Messi. He's not going to miss from there. And that uh, does put the low driven shot in. So. With that, guys, uh, we are going to sign off on 27 wins out of three. Basically, we need a good clean sweep, guys, for the remainder of the uh, remainder of the 10 games, which is coming soon. Hopefully, we can get our best ever finish. That would include getting 10, ga 10 wins in a row, but let's see if we can do it, guys. Smash that like button, subscribe if you're not, and I'll be back tomorrow for the next episode.